Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and before his church to witness the union of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. This is an honorable estate instituted and blessed by God in paradise before humanity's fall into sin. In marriage, we see a picture of the communion between Christ and his bride, the church. Our Lord blessed and honored marriage with his presence and first miracle at Cana in Galilee. This estate is also commended to us by the Apostle Paul as good and honorable. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into inadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for a mutual companionship, help, and support that each person ought to receive from the other, both in prosperity and in adversity. Marriage was also ordained so that man and woman may delight in one another. For these reasons, God has established the holy estate that Laura and Art wish to enter. They desire our prayers as they begin their marriage in the Lord's name and with his blessing. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19. Jesus said to the Pharisees, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female and said, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Art, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony as God ordained it? Will you nourish her and cherish her as Christ loved his body, the church, giving himself up for her? Will you love, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, remain united to her alone so long as you both shall live? If so, then say, I will. I will. Laura, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? to live together in the holy estate of matrimony as God ordained it? Will you submit to him as the, church, as the church submits to Christ? Will you love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others remain united to him alone so long as you both shall live? If so, then say, I will. Yes, I will. Okay, so at this point then, you two need to join hands. If, well, you've got the flower thing. Okay, that'll work. Okay, so Art, you go first. Say, I, your name, take you her name. I, Arthur, take Laura as to, my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. This day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death us do part to death do us part according to God's holy will according to God's holy will and I pledge to you my faithfulness I pledge to you my faithfulness okay Laura now it's your turn say I your name take you his name I Laura take you Artie to be my wedded husband to be my wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy will. According to God's holy will. And I pledge to you my faithfulness. And I pledge to you my faithfulness. Do we have rings? Yes, we do. Okay, hold on. You just need to hold them in your hand like this. I need to bless them first. Mm -hmm. So is this the one, or is there another one coming up? Mm -hmm. Or just right here in your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll work. Almighty Father, you have generously created all things to serve us for our good. Send your blessing upon this couple who shall wear these rings as a constant reminder of their marital fidelity. Grant that by your mercy they may live gladly and faithfully in this holy estate 
through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. All right, I'll tell you what, let's do it this way. Okay, so you put the ring on her finger and repeat after me. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a pledge and token. As a pledge and token. Of wedded love. Of wedded love. And faithfulness. And faithfulness. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, it's your turn. Put the ring on his finger and repeat after me. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a pledge and token. As a pledge and token. Of wedded love. Of wedded love. And faithfulness. And faithfulness. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now that Laura and Art have committed themselves to each other in holy matrimony, and have given themselves to each other by, them, by their solemn pledges, and have declared the name the same before God and these witnesses, I pronounce them to be husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. We pray. Almighty and everlasting God, our Heavenly Father, grant that by your blessing, Laura and Art may live together according to your word and promise. Strengthen them in faithfulness and love toward each other. Sustain and defend them in every trial and temptation. Help them to live in faith toward you in the communion of your holy church and in loving service to each other, that they may enjoy your heavenly blessing through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We now pray the, pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. Receive now the benediction of the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Art and Laura Sterling. You may kiss the bride. Oh, I may. <laughs>
something? Christopher. Christopher. That dress is gorgeous. 